Hello my dear students. Today we are going to solve the exercise 5.6 from the textbook of CBSC board and CRT mathematics of grade 6. So let's start. Exercise 5.6. Here this is the first question. Name the types of following triangles. So I'll tell you one thing. Before solving this exercise you should know the types of triangles. There are uh, different types of triangles based on two ways, uh, based on sides and based on uh, angles. So, to know de in detail about these types of triangles, just go to my previous video. I have given the link of that video here as well as in the description. If you go through that video, you will be perfect in the types of triangles. Then it will be very easy you to understand the exercise 5.6. And if you have any question regarding on that topic, you will be perfect. You can answer any uh, such questions. Okay. So please go through that video. And now we will solve this exercise. So here this is the first question. Name the types of following triangles. So here the first one is triangle with length of side 7 cm, 8 cm and 9 cm. Here the sides are of all different length. So it is called as skeleton triangle. Why it is called as skeleton triangle? You must have this question in your mind. So to find the answer of that question you should have to go to my that previous video. Okay. Now let's write the answer for the second statement that is Triangle ABC with AB is 8.7 cm, AC is 7 cm and BC is 6 cm. Here also all the sides are of different sides, different lengths. Therefore, it is called as skeleton triangle. Next comes triangle PQR such that PQ is equal to QR is equal to PR is equal to 5 cm. Means all the sides are of equal length. Therefore, it is called as equilateral triangle. Next DEF with measurement of angle D is equal to 90 degree. Means one of the angle of this triangle is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, this triangle is called as right angle triangle. Next is triangle XYZ with measurement of angle Y is 90 degree as well as XY is equal to YZ. Means one angle is equal to 90 degree therefore it is right angle triangle but here two sides are of equal length. Therefore this triangle is called as isosceles right angle triangle. Okay. Next is triangle LMN with measurement of angle L is equal to 30 degree, angle M is 70 degree and angle N is 80 degree. Here if you observe, you will understand that all the three angles are less than 90 degree. Means all the angles are of acute angle triangle. Therefore, this triangle is called as acute angle triangle. Okay. Now let's move to the second question. That is they have told us to match the following. Okay. So here the first one is three sides are of equal length. So whenever the angle is out of three sides with equal length is called as equilateral. So here we have option E as equilateral. Okay. Next two sides are of equal length. So whenever two sides are of equal length it is called as isosceles. Here we have isosceles but with right angle. So this is not the option for the second one. We have here again isosceles. So the option for second correct option is G1. Okay. Next all sides are of different length. When we have all the sides are of different length. It is called as skeleton triangle which is option A. Okay. Next three acute angles. So it is called as acute angle triangle. So it is F1. Next one right angle. Okay. When we have one right angle it is called as right angle triangle. Next is obtuse angle. So it is called as obtuse angle triangle. Next one right angle with two sides of equal length. So here it is option. It is isosceles as well as right angled. Okay. We saw the second question. Now we will move to the third question. See here. 
Name each of the following triangles in two different ways. Just now I told you that the types of triangle are of based on two ways. That is based on angles as well as based on sides. So we can name any triangle with based on these two ways. So you may judge the nature of the angle by observation. Okay. So let's name uh, one by one. The first one is C here. There are uh, here we have two sides are of equal length 5 cm 5 cm and one is different. So this triangle is called as isosceles in terms of uh, sides. Okay. Now here the angles are less than 90 degree. Right. Therefore it is acute angle triangle in next way. Now here we have all the three sides are of different length. So it is called as scalene. Next one angle is of 90 degree. Therefore it is all called as right angle triangle. Okay. Now here we have two sides equal. So it is isosceles and one angle is greater than 90. You can observe it carefully. Okay. So it is greater than 90 degree. So it is called as obtuse angle triangle. Okay. Now here we have again two sides sort of equal length. So it is isosceles and we have one angle. It is equal to right angle. Therefore it is right angle triangle. Now here all the three sides are of equal length. So it is equilateral and all the angles are less than 90 degrees. So it is acute angle. Okay. Now here all the three sides are of different length. So it is Iso, uh, sorry scalene and we have one angle which is greater than 90 degree so it is obtuse angle triangle okay now let's move to the fourth question cm try to construct triangles using matchsticks some are shown here can you make a triangle with three matchsticks four five six matchsticks remember you have to use all the available matchsticks in each case Name the type of triangle in each case. If you cannot make a triangle, think of reason of for it. Okay, let's try to make a triangle with matchsticks. The first what they have told, we have to use three matchsticks. So here I'll do three matchsticks. Let's make a triangle with this um, matchsticks. So here I made. Okay, so what we got? We got a triangle with equal length. Why equal length? Because all the matchsticks are of equal length. So it is called as equilateral triangle. We got a type of a triangle, equilateral triangle. Okay, now let's use four matchsticks. Okay, now here we have four matchsticks. So let's try to make a triangle with the use of four matchsticks. So here, sorry, we can't make a triangle with a four matchsticks. Why? See here, the, what is the reason? First, I'll write the answer. See here, here it is not possible as other sides won't get intersect each other. See here, these two sides can't get uh, touch each other. So we can't make a closed triangle, right? So it is not possible. Why it is not possible? The reason for this is... Sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle has to be greater than the third side. It is a rule for the triangle. Okay. If we add any two other two sides, we should get the answer which should be greater than the third side. Okay. So here it is. Let's take it is one centimeter. So it should be it is also one centimeter. So when we add it will give you give us two centimeter but the third side is made up of two uh, two matchsticks so it is one plus one right it is also two so when we add these two sides we are getting the answer equal to two which is equal to the third side but it should not happen the two sides addition should be greater than the third side so it is no it is impossible to make a Four, uh, make a triangle with, with the use of four matchsticks. Okay. Now let's use five matchsticks to make a triangle. Let's use them. Okay. So two, three, four and five. So we got a triangle with five matchsticks. See here, here I use two matchsticks, here two matchsticks and here one matchstick. So which type of triangle it became? It became isosceles triangle with two sides equal okay now let's use six matchsticks see here there are six matchsticks 
let's use them yeah we can make a triangle with six matchsticks with equal lengths here here also two here also two and here also two matchsticks so this type of triangle is called as equilateral triangle so here this exercise ends if you like my teaching then please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment box i'll clear it all okay so bye everyone